Okay, so here's some of the peppers I've cleaned up. These are banana peppers, uh, bell pepper, and I've roasted some of these off. All right. There's some poblanos here. And I'm going to roast some onions and some garlic later on. And anyway, pretty good haul for the peppers. So, and I don't know if you can see it or not, but I've got a whole tray in there of onions and other things. So that's all going to go into the Vitamix blender. And then I'm going to strain it and then cook it down and make something. Who knows? We're not sure yet. Real quickly here. So I dressed, dressed that in a little bit of olive oil. Run it on top of the peppers I was, already, I was already roasting for the last 20 minutes. And then toss all that together. And then I'll roast this off for another 15 or so minutes. Just to get the garlic some flavor. Okay. This is the roasted peppers. The blano. Banana peppers. And some bell peppers. Onions. Three heads of garlic. I'll sort of in here. I plan on running it through the Vitamix, but I couldn't get the thing to work. I don't know if there's a trick to it. I've never used it before. But I'm going to cook these down as much as possible. And try to smash it or blend it. And then we'll go from there. But it, it smells incredible. I have two different sauces I've been working on. This is a combination of three peppers I showed earlier. And I've ground those, or not ground those up, but I've cooked those down, roasted them, cooked them down. And now I am going to blend part of it. And this I ran through a sieve with a spoon for a good half an hour to get a bunch of sauce there. I've added three different vinegars, four actually, rice vinegar, apple cider vinegar, red wine vinegar, and some distilled white. Uh, to give it a blend. So no one uh, vinegar pops through as the only dominant flavor. I've added garlic powder, onion powder, a little bit of paprika, and some celery salt and, and uh, sea salt. So uh, to this one, I've not added salt yet. I'll go ahead and do that now on camera. This is some sea salt. And to this as well, I've added mirin, um, apple cider vinegar, red wine vinegar, distilled white, and some rice vinegar. Let's see if I can get this to work. That looks rather interesting. Let's taste that. Oh, that's nice. Hmm. More red wine vinegar. <clears throat> oh, nice. Sugar. Hey, can I throw a tomato in this? Yeah, yeah, of course. Whatever you want. This is all spoils from the garden. All right, so tomatoes. In. Let's see what that does.
Oh, that makes it, that is gorgeous. Bright, the tomato adds just the right amount. Okay, so I'm going to take these two sauces. This is the one with the tomato and the seeds, the skins, the whole enchilada. Yeah. And I'm going to heat that up just to bring it up to temp, uh, sterilize anything, whatever. Uh, and then for the other one, I'm going to do the same. That's the one where I strain the seeds. I did add two ladles full of this into that because I really like the way this one turned out. And that one's just a little bit too much pepper or black pepper. Uh, so by tempering this with that, it might bring it up to where I want. Okay, so these are the two sauces I made. This is the result. They've had a chance to mellow in the fridge. And I did cook them after I mixed up everything. So this one here is the it's tomato. Oh, excuse me. That's the three pepper with tomato added, and the three pepper with black pepper added. So the tomato adds a bright note to it. Um, if you really wanted, <clears throat> if you really wanted to, you could probably make a, a decent ketchup, a pepper ketchup out of this. This. Um, Cooked it down a little bit, it would be really great. This one has a nice black pepper bite. Um, completely different sauces. This one's a little bit sweeter. This one's more, um, if the banana peppers and poblano and all that had been a hotter pepper um, mix, this one would be a good hot sauce. But I've tried both of these on a hot dog and it went well. So. Overall, a good success. So, <clears throat> that's all I've got for today. Hasta.